Let's go back to basketball now. Saturday's Texas A&M Kentucky showdown was one of the program's biggest games since Billy Kennedy came to Texas A&M in 2011. The game was important enough that ESPN's famed College Game Day show aired live from Reed Arena on Saturday morning. Shada Nazifpour has more on the festivities. For the first time in Texas A&M basketball history, ESPN's College Game Day was held at Reed Arena in advance of the Aggies game versus number 14, Kentucky. The Reed Rowdies and Aggie Angels were up and at them early Saturday morning and out in full force to represent the university. We've had some good runs here, you know, back with AC Law and whatnot, but they've never had game day here, so it shows how special this season is. All the people are here, we've been out here, so we're really excited about it. We've really wanted it to be here for a good while, and as you can tell, we have a great support system behind Aggie basketball and we just couldn't be more excited to show it. I'm expecting a really good high-powered game. I think it's going to be pretty high scoring. Kentucky's coming in on a win streak. a and is trying to get it back on track. I think we're going to take it. Many fans took their game day experience seriously, showing up hours in advance. About 10:30, 11 o'clock last night. Camped out all night, first in line. Where I'm not going to leave here. I'm going to wait five hours just to get in. And ESPN's traveling crew of analysts weren't the only ones inside Reed Arena with thoughts on how the game might play out. I think the big matchup is Tyler Ulis versus Anthony Collins. They're both small but quick. Um, I think if Daniel House can get to what he's supposed to do, and I think Tyler Davis, the boy from Plano, Texas, that's where I'm from, I expect him to have a big night tonight. Head coach Billy Kennedy made an appearance and joined the yell leaders during some of the traditional Aggie yells. One, two, three. And as the Reed Rowdies got together for Hullabaloo, the ESPN analysts joined them, and Reese Davis shocked everyone when he came out singing all the words. Shade and Azif for KAG Sports. I also heard that Reese Davis gave Jay Williams a little bit of flack for not knowing the words, because apparently Reese Davis knows everything. Anyways, thanks, Shada. That was definitely worth getting up early in the morning for.